It's the mentality of an eagle. I often ask myself, what differentiates those who wish for better outcomes and those who do something about it? What separates the dreaming from the progress and the wishing from the reality? Sure, life is complex. There are a lot of moving parts to understand. But I think this element is simple. Those who build things in life are willing to not only see a reality that hasn't yet materialized, but they also understand that in a world of no, they have to be the yes. They have to believe in their ability to drive towards finish lines that no one else sees. And see, meaning cannot come to fruition without that discomfort. Or as Nietzsche put it, one must still have chaos in oneself to be able to give birth to a dancing star. And that's just it. Most people see what is, most people conform, they do not create. To change something means you have to be the metaphorical eagle amongst pigeons, flying above all that, everyone, everything else, superseding the limiting beliefs that shackle others to their one-dimensional realities. But most importantly, it means you can see. You can see what no one else can. You have line of sight to what no one else understands. See, in this world, no one walks up to you on the street, puts their arm around you and says, hey kid, that dream, follow that, because I can tell you're going to do big things. No one says, hey, that business idea, you're going to thrive next year, I know it. That relationship, it's going to happen. That level of fitness, oh, I can see it already. Nope. People see what's right in front of them. And as it pertains to you and your world, your life, people are those pigeons. And so that leaves you with a choice. Do you accept that? Do you blend in, take the scraps you're allowed to consume, the crumbs laid out in front of you? Or do you step back and acknowledge that this is going to be tough. This is going to hurt. It's going to push me further as a person than I've ever been pushed. But you know what I get in return? That view. I get to live above the clouds with those who don't wait in line. No, they become the main attraction. They transform what is into what will be, because the world, it has a way of ensuring that we really want what we say we do. Greatness in any area of life is reserved for those willing to carry forward when most would turn back, to build a bridge to something greater. When most people point out that your bridge is not connected to anything, that it's a waste of time, it's trivial, useless, irrational, Good. Changing your life in the world around you has to be irrational. Taking the status quo and shaking it, saying I'm going to alter this landscape is irrational. But from irrationality comes the future. So when you feel like the world is against you, when you have an uphill battle to climb, when there are a million reasons for you to turn around, Understand that this is nothing more than an indicator that you are right where you need to be, against the current, bringing something new to life. See, if it were easy, it would already exist. But changing your life, that makes you an architect of the unseen. So build on the days you want to build, on the days you don't, build, when they understand, build, and when they assume you've all together lost your mind, build. Sure, it's not easy, but it's worth it. And when tomorrow comes, and it looks a lot different from today, 
when you've grown, evolved, transformed, and you look back and don't even recognize the person you once were. That won't be because you listened to the chirping of the doubters and the naysayers. It won't be because when strangers told you to give up, you packed your bags and went home. No, it will be because you rose above all that. They saw empty space and you saw a world undiscovered. They saw your head in the clouds while you built those castles in the air. You were always on a trajectory to something greater. You didn't need to convince them. You needed to convince yourself. To unlock the shackles and take to the sky, leave everything that once held you down behind. This isn't about anyone else. It's about the conversation between you and the horizon that awaits. attitude of the eagle.